Now, GM is a company that is betting their future on EVs and implementing that technology at tremendous scale. So to tell us more about that, I'm gonna to welcome to the stage from GM, their Director of Global Battery Cell Engineering, Steve Tarnowski. Steve. Hello, Good morning. Welcome, Steve. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, it's great to be here. We have this expression, engineer ambitiously. People probably noticed it around the uh, conference. The idea here is you have this bold vision and the engineering that it takes to turn it into a practical reality. And um, you know that's exactly what you're doing. I mentioned I'm kind of an EV enthusiast and I shared with Steve that a couple of weeks ago, I was um, kind of found myself in a rabbit hole in the internet and I was looking, researching about the EV1, the, one of the first electric vehicles back in 1997 that GM created, there it is. You've, some of you remember that. And what was amazing about that car was that so many of the elements of a modern electric vehicle we're in that car back in 1997. It's really extraordinary. But the one challenge was really around the batteries. It had lead acid batteries are pretty big and heavy and it, its range was kind of 70 miles at best and that made it very difficult to be a commercial success. Um, so the point there is that it's all about the battery. Like the battery is such a critical defining element of the vision. So how are you dealing with the challenge to produce those at scale? Yeah. Yes, it, it is all about the battery. Ma making batteries at scale is gonna be key to being successful. And, and by the way, I, I did have the privilege of working on the EV1 uh, propulsion system validation and also the inductive charging system uh, more than three decades That's ago. So, cool. so, cool. uh, so now getting back to today, I wanna talk a little bit about Ultium. So Ultium is the name that we've given to our all electric vehicle architecture and propulsion platform and it consists of modular and scalable building blocks for our all-electric future. Now these building blocks includes, include families of drive units, motors, power electronics, controls, and then of course at the heart of Ultium is, is the battery. So you've been a lead user on our lifecycle analytics solution, and we've been working together, our teams have been working really closely together to build the software that you need for this battery analytics based on our um, NI System Link platform. So share about how we're working with NI to address the challenges you just shared, Steve. Sure, Eric. Uh, so we're working with NI on a, on a long-term sustainable solution that allows us to connect all the battery test data to quickly develop the insights that we need. Now the solution must be secure, must be scalable, and it needs to be open. Uh, so with NI's system link, we can implement access control so the right people have access to the right data while securely storing that data. And it also allows different levels of authentication to be employed that ensure that um, only authorized users have access to that data with the right level of encryption. So the end-to-end -end data ingestion process uh, aggregation of data, the processing, the analytics, the reporting, and even the sign-off procedures of, of collecting all this data from disparate sources, it's all automa uh, automated. And this automation saves thousands of hours of manual work per project. And this also gives our engineers the flexibility and independence of, of having on-demand access to the needed data when they need it, and in a way that enables key decisions. So from NI, we're getting a solution that's fully compatible with GM's IT infrastructure, so it's no longer up to our test engineers to maintain, but we can leverage our IT professionals to make it sustainable, compliant, and completely vendor independent. Working with IT is important. I know that resonates with lots of, lots of people. And, and um, look, this is a great example of, of this data-driven approach to improve performance. And I gotta tell you, we are thrilled to work with uh, GM on this important area for your business, but also an area with so much impact ultimately on the, on the world. It's great. Um, I, first of all, I really, again, I really appreciate having the time to come and talk about uh, Ultium and how NI is helping us reduce risk. Uh, perform our engineering work more efficiently and give us a faster time it, for those insights and decisions. So I appreciate the opportunity to speak uh, this morning about, every, about Ultium and the role that NI will play in helping us uh, achieve an all-electric future. So thank Steve, you. Steve, thank you. Thank you so much. Right. Appreciate it. <laughs>